So in this video, I'm gonna compare the Atoma Shinobi to the Fieldward FW27. So to make this a little bit shorter, I'm not gonna talk about every single spec, but what I am gonna do is tell you the difference between the two. So let's start with the obvious. The Fieldward monitor is 2200 nits, while the Atoma Shinobi is 1000 nits. Obviously, the more nits you have, the brighter the monitor is. You can definitely tell the difference between these two as far as brightness goes. Next up is the screen size. The Atomic Shinobi is only a 5.2 inch monitor, while the Feel World is seven inches. For me, bigger is always better as far as trying to see outdoors, especially when it's bright outside, especially if you have the camera on a gimbal. It's better to have a bigger monitor. It's easier to see things. Another thing for Feel World is it has interchangeable battery plate on the back. Toma Shinobi right now only takes Sony batteries, so obviously more options the better. Also, Feel World includes an HDMI cable and a monitor arm, even though it's a cheapo monitor arm, it's still kind of nice to have it. Like I said earlier, the Atoma Shinobi really doesn't come with anything. It just comes with a power adapter. All right, so the Fearworld also has a built-in speaker. I don't actually see myself using this, but it's kind of nice to place something back and have something on the monitor when playing back. Some of you guys might use this, but Atoma Shinobi does not have a speaker at all. All right, so the Fearworld does have an HDMI output. As you can see in this setup, I am actually using it. Basically you take the camera HDMI and take it out to the fill world and then the fill world can actually output another HDMI to another monitor and you can see that right now in this setup I have the camera to the fill world fill world to the shinobi that's kind of nice if you have another monitor that you need to plug into the camera Additionally, since the Feel World has 2200 nits, you can actually use this thing as a headlight or a blogger light. It's actually pretty good. I am gonna make another video showing you guys how to do this. It's pretty nifty because it's so bright, you can actually use it as a key light. Now, obviously you're not gonna replace an actual light, but it's nice to know that you can have a monitor, flip it over, you can have a light when it's dark outside. All right, so on the other hand, the Atomo Shinobi has 427 pixel per inch, while the Field World only has 323. The more pixel per inch, the better the quality of the screen is gonna be, the more detail you're gonna see on the back of the screen. The Atomo Shinobi does have touchscreen, and I absolutely love touchscreen. Unfortunately for the Field World, it does not, but then again, they had to cut the cost somewhere. All right, so Atomo Shinobi has eight customizable LUTs that you can import. The Phil roll does not, so that is kind of nice on the Atoma Shinobi. Like I said though, I'm not going to be using that since the Pocket 4K can export LUTs via the HDMI cable, so that's not really a thing for me. Additionally, the Atoma Shinobi has waveform and the Phil roll does not. So finally, the price point. The Atoma Shinobi comes at $399 while the Phil roll comes at $250. That's a pretty good difference there. Uh, I don't know if the touchscreen really costs that much more. So as a verdict, you really have to ask yourself, do you need the touchscreen? Do you need a waveform? And do you have $400? If you say no to any of those, then grab the Feel World monitor because it's an absolutely amazing monitor. It's so bright. And for me, I am gonna have to keep the Feel World just because it's brighter, it's cheaper, and it has an interchangeable battery plate on the back of it, which as you all know, I have a lot of Canon batteries, so I'm gonna be using a Canon battery behind this camera. Like always, if you guys have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you guys later.